In the secluded nation of Wakanda, an air of frenzied anticipation loomed as preparations were made to fend off an incoming host of Skrull invaders. As the Skrull battleships closed in on the city, T'Challa, the Black Panther, ordered his men to hold steady and not yet fire on their enemies until they came even closer. As his counselors expressed fear that the Skrulls were being allowed too close to the city, T'Challa stated that they needed to stick to the plan that he had in order to drive them back. Meanwhile, on the approaching warships, the Skrull commander Kavir reflected on the many battles of his past. He had faced fearsome enemies across many worlds and now needed only to conquer this puny Earth nation ahead of him so that he could enjoy his retirement on the wealth that he had claimed from his victories. He was suddenly pulled from his memories as his ship came within view of a gruesome sight the Wakandans had left as a welcoming gift and warning to the invaders the impaled heads of other scrolls that had been sent ahead to infiltrate the Wakandan ranks. Seeing this only steeled Kavir's resolve as he ordered his troops into battle formations. Now, with the scroll warships in range, the Black Panther gave the order to give their opponents in his words a good old-fashioned Wakandan welcome. With that, two massive panther-shaped cannons fired lasers into the scroll fleet. At first, the attack seemed to have no effect on the Skrulls, who prepared for a counterattack. After a brief delay, however, an explosion rocked the Skrulls' ships as reports reached Kavir that all of their onboard firearms had detonated. While this was a blow to the Skrull invasion, they were not ready to give up just yet as they used the Wakandan's own trick against them, detonating the Wakandan armories and shutting down their power. Just before the Wakandan power was shut off completely, T'Challa and his followers played one more Uno reverse card on the Skrulls, cutting off the power in their warships and sending them hurtling to the ground. With the enemy grounded, T'Challa descended to the battlefield to prepare his troops for the fight to come. As he did, he reflected on his earlier prayers to his panther god for wisdom to lead his people, strength against their enemies, and for the souls of his people that would not live to see the dawn. As the Black Panther took to the field at the head of his people, he gave a rousing speech stating that this was a place that they had been before, with oppressors closing in to subjugate Wakanda and plunder its resources. Now the weapons of those past enemies stood in Wakandan museums, and their bones could still be found in Wakandan soil. Fate would be no different for these Skrull invaders. On the other side of the field of battle, Kavir rallied his troops as well, declaring that here they would make their stand. With no home to return to, each scroll must fight side by side for their survival. They were an empire that had laid waste to countless galaxies, and this one puny Earthman dared mock them. Kavir commanded his troops to bring him the skull of the Black Panther, so that he could drink from it and toast the Skrull Empire. And with that, the two armies, left only with their blades, clubs, and bows, descended upon one another in brutal, bloody combat. As the battle waged all around him, T'Challa watched as some of his men were cut down by a super scroll, enhanced with powers from Earth's other superheroes. This scroll in particular displayed abilities from the X-Man Wolverine and from Iron Fist. As the Black Panther engaged this enhanced opponent, he nimbly danced around the scroll, exploiting pressure points on its body when he saw openings. A few Wakandan soldiers rushed to aid their king, to which T'Challa tried to warn them to stay back. His commands were in vain, however, as the soldiers quickly met their violent ends at the hands of the Super Scroll. As the scroll gutted the Wakandans, it also revealed that it had the powers of Bullseye. T'Challa took a short moment to lay his fallen soldiers to rest before preparing to finish his battle with the bloodthirsty enemy. As the two leapt back into combat, the scroll blocked T'Challa's attack and landed a powerful blow of its own on the Black Panther. It lifted the king into the air and prepared to finish him, when suddenly T'Challa slammed his knee into the scroll's arm, viciously snapping it. He continued to attack the weakened scroll, jumping up and plucking out its eye. Now truly enraged, the scroll charged T'Challa, who destroyed its leg with a well-placed kick. As the scroll lay dying, it asked T'Challa to give it an honorable death, to which he replied that he would instead leave the invader to rot. 
The victory over the single scroll was short-lived, however, as two more powered scrolls appeared, displaying powers from Thor, Hulk, Juggernaut, The Thing, and a myriad of other Marvel characters. Elsewhere, T'Challa's wife Storm was sneaking around the outskirts of the battlefield with a guard as she explained that they needed to enact the next part of her husband's plan in order to defeat the invading army. Out of nowhere, the guard revealed themselves to be a scroll disguised as a Wakandan fighter. The scroll placed its blade to Storm's throat and took her as a captive. Now, with a valuable bargaining piece, Kavir called out to the Black Panther to lay down his arms and surrender or else his precious queen would die. T'Challa commanded his army to return to the city and bar the gates. One of the Super Scrolls from earlier taunted the Black Panther, telling him that they would kill Storm one way or the other, but if the Panther surrendered, the Scrolls would not make him watch. T'Challa responded to this insult by removing the Scroll's head in one strike as he declared that he would lay down his weapons for no one. In this moment, the soldier behind T'Challa attacked him with a taser, revealing that they too were a Skrull warrior hidden among T'Challa's fighters. The Wakandan army retreated as Kavir surveyed the battlefield strewn with the dead. He returned to his ship past his own battered soldiers to interrogate his captives. Kavir demanded a full surrender from the Black Panther, who in true Wakandan fashion refused. This mattered little to Kavir, who promised to beat the pair of captives until they were completely unrecognizable stating that he had beaten the pride out of greater things than the Wakandan king. The scroll commander left his underlings to make good on his promises of violence. Later, the beaten bodies of T'Challa and Storm lay in front of two scroll interrogators, who as they worked, found something lodged in T'Challa's throat. After removing it, and upon further inspection, the pair decided that it was a vocal manipulator, they called up to Kavir on the main deck to tell him of their strange discovery. As one interrogator began to explain what they had found, T'Challa began to quickly try and explain to the two scrolls that someone had set them up and that he was in fact not the Black Panther. The scrolls began to put two and two together as the two bodies on their table revealed their true forms, two scrolls that had been forced to take the place of the king and queen of Wakanda. As this horrifying realization began to set in to Kavir, the real T'Challa appeared directly behind the scroll commander. As his last words to the invading commander, King T'Challa reminded him that the panther god sees all. With that, T'Challa and Storm skewered Kavir. Outside, the armies of Wakanda charged forward again, vowing to leave no scroll alive. Making good on their promise, the Wakandan army decimated their remaining enemies. The bodies of the defeated scrolls were then piled high in a grotesque monument with a message in blood to other would-be attackers. This is what happens when you invade Wakanda.